You're not pregnant. Well, I told you that. But there's got to be some other reason I'm still spotting. Sure. You were pregnant. Based on your hormone levels, you've had a miscarriage. I haven't even been on a date. Right. Since it's physically impossible to have sex without someone buying you dinner. I haven't had sex since I split up with my husband. That was almost a year ago. Fine. Have it your way. Immaculate conception. Um, what do I do? Well, it's obvious. Start a religion. Patechial bruising? I don't know if I pronounced that right. Gosh, the internet is such a wonderful tool. It could be leukemia. Definitely possible. The more likely diagnosis is hickey. Well, it can't be a hickey. Why is everybody so ashamed of sex all of a sudden? I'm not having sex. I barely even thought about sex since my marriage. Ow! I say you're having sex, you say you're not. Either you're lying, or I'm wrong. Or there's some middle ground. You mean like oral? I mean you're having sex without knowing it. I'm testing you for booze, drugs, and GHB. I don't drink, or what's GHB? The date rape drug. restored my faith in the human race. You're lying. No, I'm not lying. Just got your results back. No GHB, no nothing. It means you're having sex and you're lying about it. No, and I have a new symptom. I have a rash on my butt. Do you wanna? What is it? It's a carpet burn. No, it can't be. Doctor, I love sex. I miss it. I haven't had any in over a year. Well, you managed to keep this appointment, so you have no short-term memory problem. Multiple personalities? You find yourself losing chunks of time? Did you wake up and you don't remember falling asleep? No, I just wake up really exhausted. Something upsetting you? No. My ex lives in the apartment downstairs. He's always calling me, always wanting to get back together, complaining about mixed signals. Get out of my life. How much clearer can you get? We have a sleep lab in the basement. If nothing else will get you away from your ex for a night. These were your brain waves at 2.45 AM. Now here it comes. There's an abrupt jump from slow wave sleep. This indicates partial sleep arousal. The most common type is somnambulism, sleepwalking. That would explain why I'm so tired when I wake up. Yes, and also why you were pregnant. And the hickeys. And the carpet burn. I had sex in my sleep? Sexsomnia is a documented disorder. You said your ex lives downstairs. I'll kill him. OK, but he probably didn't know that you were asleep. Sex Omniacs can act pretty normal. I'm gonna write you a prescription for a low-dose antidepressant. It'll let you sleep better. If you wanna save yourself the $15 copay, you could have sex while you're awake. He's my ex, you I You live in the same building, you haven't had sex with anyone else for a year, you sleepwalk right into his arms. Call me crazy, but I'm sensing unresolved issues. Sore throat? Let's stop lupus. Well, not everyone can operate a zipper. You know, the up, the down. What comes next? My new girlfriend. Never been with a guy who wasn't circumcised. So she freaked and, aha, uh -huh. she wanted Rifka to feel all gemutlicht. I get it, it's a Shonda. I got some box cutters and um, just like Abraham did it. I sterilized them, which uh, I was told you. Stop to talking. I'm gonna get a plastic surgeon, get the Twinkie back in the wrapper. I wanna get Depo Povera. Actually, 
at your age. As long as you're careful, the risk of you getting pregnant is pretty limited. Yeah, but it would calm me down, right, if I get a high enough dose. You mean calm as in a peaceful lake on a cool summer evening? Or in the lesser used meaning of nothing can ever bother you again because life has absolutely no meaning? High dose of Depo-Provera will chemically castrate you. Yeah. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna get up to leave now. I'm gonna walk to that door, turn the handle, and then you're suddenly gonna decide that you have to tell me the truth. I gotta turn around, come all the way back. You see, the thing is, my leg hurts. Can we cut the walking out of the equation? I love cows. Any particular variety? Currencies? Holsteins? Which are the black and white ones? Oh, God. I pass a farm on my way to school, and they're so beautiful. They're so majestic, I dream about them. Leather shoes, hamburgers. How can anybody do that to a cow? Make love, not belts. It's beautiful. I haven't actually... Oh, relax. It's something we doctors deal with all the time. I'm gonna write you the name of a drug. You don't need a prescription. It looks just like Depo Provera. But does it do the same thing? Oh, God, no. That stuff has all sorts of nasty side effects. It's real medicine. Now, this is all you need. Your frat buddies will be completely fooled. You can tell them how appalled the doctor was. Lots of laughs. I think I broke my ankle. I was kicked by a hoof. I'm so in love. She was so beautiful. Which one? One of the black and white ones. I'm not sure what type. Which type? Which one? I want a name. Why would it have a name? Not it. She or he. I want to know her dreams, her hopes. It's a cow. Hey, I'm not the one who said he was in love. People who actually have this condition rationalize it. They dismiss it. They don't elevate it to the level of poetry. Plus, there's a wooden splinter in there. So either you hit yourself with a two by four or Elsie has a pig leg. I'm off duty at six. Give yourself another whack. Come back and scam somebody else. I'm sick. And you're a doctor. You have a duty to help me. Technically, I don't have to treat anybody before running a series of painful and often humiliating tests. Whatever you need. Got your labs. Do you eat guinea pigs? No. How about the hamsters or mice? Humans? What are you talking about? Is something wrong with me? Absolutely nothing. Your blood work is perfect. Got lots of vitamins, minerals, all kinds of proteins, including a little something I like to call bovine serum albumin, which you get from eating the animals mentioned. Or cow. You don't really worship cows. So I have to wonder, what could be more humiliating than someone calling your girlfriend a cow and not being metaphorical? My mom. Either that's a very old photograph or it's your stepmom. She goes around the house in a bikini or less. I, I, I can't stop thinking about her. My dad's in Europe. I'll, I'll be watching TV. She'll give me a massage. I can't walk for an hour. Still. Cows. She's my mother! Step. Please. I just need the medicine for three months until I graduate and I move out of the house. Have any fun at graduation? Did you hike to the fence and how far? Yes, it's about a half a mile from my farmhouse. And where is the pain localized? It started just above my ankle and it's radiating up. So, what should we do first? Family history? Indicative of leg pain, that's a very short list. Any history of bone cancer, osteogenesis imperfecta, or multiple myeloma? 
Could be a blood issue. We should run a CBC and a D-dimer. And get an MRI. MRI or a PET scan? If the problem's vascular, he's better <laughs> off. Sorry. Thanks for playing. Patient's dead. You killed him. We had no time to run any tests. There was nothing we could do. You had time to look at the leg. I thought we were starting with the farmer's case first. We are. But if we're going to look at a leg, I need you to take off your pants. Snake bite. That would be my guess. Farmer didn't know he'd been bitten by a snake. That's what he said. Sudden shooting pain, tall grass, never saw a thing. What kind of snake? You want me to tell you what kind of snake it was from the shape of the hole in the leg? Well, how are we supposed to know what kind of antivenom to use if we don't know what kind of snake it is? Oh, there are people to find those things out. Hi, I'm having vaginal pain. Pleasure to meet you. My OBGYN died recently. He's a nice man. Warm hands. Not anymore. So, does it hurt when you tinkle? Yeah, it's when it's worse. You have some vaginal tearing. No sign of bruising. No indication of trauma, forced entry. Ramona, you naughty girl. Either you've got yourself an 18-year-old boyfriend or an 80-year-old with some little blue pills. Myron thought he'd just try them out. Lucky you. I guess. You preferred if Myron was a little droopier? Maybe a little. We used to hold hands or read together or watch Jeopardy. I haven't seen Jeopardy in almost a month. Have you talked to him about this? You tried talking a 73-year-old out of sex. With all these male enhancements, the pressure to put out's incredible. It's worse than high school. He doesn't get what he wants from me. He'll get it from Connie in the corner condo. She's dying her hair red. Major League slut. <clears throat> There's a prescription for vaginal estrogen suppositories. It'll help with the lubrication. Thank you. Uh, maybe you could give Myron a prescription. Something weaker than he's got now. Tell him it's better for his heart. He'd buy that. You can't tell him the truth, so you want me to lie to him. Would you? Close your legs. Yeah. You Dr. House? I have a feeling I'm going to regret this, but yes. Ramona said... I should come to you for my refill. Uh, you know, the wood's beginning to droop. Uh, she said you'd probably want to talk to me first. She lied. There you go. Thanks. Always happy to make people happy. Goodbye. I, I don't know how much more of this I can take. Much more of what? Sex. You don't want more sex? My golf swing is all messed up. Hey, here's a radical thought. Talk to her. The truth? It sounds crazy when you put it like that. Oh, Ramona's got a big appetite. If I don't perform, I don't want to lose her. You got a pharmacy around here? In the hospital? Could be. Let's see if we can find it. Sorry about that. Guy dying. Those pills you gave Myron, they're not working. Well, good to see you got the correct perspective on the thing. Well, the old ones I mean, made me feel like a tree, huh? Nice visual. But the new ones, uh, might as well be eating candy. Candy wouldn't take away your headaches. What? 
You came to me and told me that you were having too much sex. I never did. You too, Sequoia. Well, no, that's not true. I, I know did. everybody lies, but you'd think that after a certain amount of time together, you wouldn't be trying so hard. Your rings don't match. Well, why would they? Well, style is one thing, but one silver, one gold. How long have you guys been married? 45 years. years. Damn it, you're having an affair. Did you really say you wanted to have less sex? Well, less? If I wanted none, I'd stay home with Esther. I just need a little rest. You guys aren't the victims of the little blue pills. You're the problem. I'm sorry. Me too. I should just have told you how I felt. Oh, oh welcome to hell. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, hey, uh, how about the pills? Looks like you guys are good to go drug free for a while. Let me guess, inflammatory bowel. Wow, yeah. Is it that bad? Yes. It's also written on your chart. Bloody diarrhea, gas pain, took sulfasalazine, but it didn't work. No, then, then I... Uh... Extroid steroid enemas, oral corticosteroids, 5 ASA, 6 mercaptopurine. I'm impressed. By my medical history? By how well your last doctor charted. It's one thing to have to go to the bathroom every hour, but when the kids sit on my lap, it's... The store sent me home, they're gonna fire me. Can't you put me back on 5 ASA? Maybe it'll work this time. Not likely. I can't give you a prescription. It's cheap, which is good, because your insurance company won't pay for it. Cogerias? Cigarettes. One twice a day, no more, no less. Studies have shown that cigarette smoking is one of the most effective ways to control inflammatory bowel. Plus, it's been well established that you look 30% cooler. Are you kidding me? About the looking cooler, yeah. The rest is true. Isn't it addictive and dangerous? Pretty much all the drugs I prescribe are addictive and dangerous. The only difference with this one is it's completely legal. Merry Christmas. It's really bad, especially at night. It's like my heart is on fire. Like it's, um, oh, I don't know, like a... Burning? <sighs> exactly. Hmm. It's almost like heartburn. So, can you give me something? Like a thesaurus? What? I take it you never mentioned this during any of your prenatal visits. Prenatal? I'm not pregnant. Sorry, you don't get to make that call unless you have a stethoscope. Union rules. I know when I'm pregnant, all right? I have six kids. That's why my husband had a vasectomy and we use condoms. Vasectomies can reverse themselves, condoms break. Okay. This is what a woman is supposed to look like. Okay, we're not just skin and bones. We have flesh. We have curves. You have little people inside you. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I guess I must have just been brainwashed by the media and all those years of medical training. Damn right. I'll see if I can find some antacids while the nurse gets some blood. Blood? Why? The heartburn. Got to make sure it's not spreading. The ultrasound and biopsy confirmed our worry. The tumor is extremely large, at least 30 pounds. Oh, God. It's actually a personal record for this clinic. But it's completely benign. There's no sign of cancer at all. <sighs> I've already spoken with Dr. Bergen, and he's available first thing in the morning. For what? for the surgery. But if it's not cancer, it can't kill me, right? No. I'll have a huge scar. I won't be able to wear a bikini. You wear a bikini now? Yeah, you got a problem with that? Nope, but I've never gone swimming with you. I knew it. That's what this is all about. You were trying to force me to have cosmetic surgery. Yeah. That's exactly why I planted a 30-pound tumor on your ovary. It's not gonna kill me. The only thing surgery is gonna do is change the way I look. 
That is the definition of cosmetic surgery. Uh, it would also relieve your heartburn and discomfort. Yeah, right. Why give an antacid if you can cut someone up and make them a little easier on your eyes? My husband loves my body. He can't get enough of it. You think he's gonna wanna touch me if I look like I've been gutted like a fish? That was unexpected. Yeah, it was. Men are pigs. You called me in to tell me. I should have realized the vasectomy and condoms was overkill, but this was too obvious to miss. Cute kids. Love her green eyes and his baby blues. Of course, since both you and your husband have brown eyes. Where'd you get that? From the father of three, maximum four of your six children. So I'm thinking maybe the reason you don't want surgery is that while your husband will find you attractive no matter what, all the other men you're sleeping with might not be so open-minded. Which brings me back to my original thesis. Men are pigs. You got nothing to worry about. They'll pretty much have sex with anyone. Fat, skinny, married, single, complete strangers, relatives. You are sick. So are you. I'm sure there are websites full of men looking for married women with surgical scars. So have the surgery. Please. OK. You owe me a $400 handbag. It's kind of hard to check your throat when you're flapping your guns around. Oh, hi. But it's for the fall formal. He doesn't care if it's for the presidential inauguration. Oh. But I'm using Marissa's old dress. It's free. Yeah, you know what else is free? Roof over your head, the food you eat, your phone, your computer. How long have you been congested? Uh, a week, ever since we got back from Fresno. Fresno? That's in France, right? You see the Parthenon? Uh, California. I've got no appetite. I'm aching all over. I'm weak. Does that hurt? Oh, yeah. Does his voice always have that unattractive nasal tone? <laughs> Totally. I'm going to take that giggle as a no. Fever, aches, weakness, loss of appetite. Been having any anal sex with IV drug users lately? Of course not. I'm married. You think she might have been having no. no. It's probably a rhinovirus. What's that? Cold. Take this four times a day. Stay off airplanes. Flying cesspools. Oops. You drop something. If there's anything else you can think of, please call. Yes? He's too old and weak. Dr. House? Hi. How are you? Not as good as you think I am. Don't worry, I'm not stalking you. My dad just lost his medicine. He had to come back for another prescription. Yeah, right. He's moving it on the street, isn't he? Yeah, my dad, the meth kingpin. Why haven't you returned any of my calls? I plan to. In a couple of years. I was just calling to say thank you. I want to tell you how impressed I was. You diagnosed my dad by just looking at him. Felt his glands, too. There's my dad. I gotta go. Yeah, me too. Oh, and you really don't have to wait a couple years to return my calls. Just six months till I turn 18. Dr. House. Hello, girl whose name I don't remember, but whose dad I treated, so I don't really know why she's here. Allie. Um, I think I caught my dad has the rhino thing. Right. Does that hurt? A little. It's in my chest, too. Of course it is. Kind of 
had access through the shirt. This will work. Feels good. Exactly when did New Jersey run out of horny 17-year-old boys? About five weeks ago. It's been very lonely. The ventilation scan was normal. Time to send him home. Can't leave right now. Well, congratulations, you are the proud owner of your very own rhino thing. A rhino virus? You can't leave because she has a cold? Can't leave because Cuddy says I can't leave. get into a lot of trouble being here. I wanted to see you. Yeah, I got that. So did everyone else. They think you're a stalker. One could argue those people might be jealous of your attention. Yes, I actually made that argument. And going home? That's the plan. In Iceland, the age of consent is 14. I'm surprised tourism isn't a bigger industry up there. Today I'm jailbait, but in 22 weeks, anybody can do anything to me. Will I be so different in 22 weeks? 22 weeks is enough for an embryo to grow arms and legs. It's just a line, an arbitrary line drawn by a bunch of saddled men in robes. Yeah, who cares what judges think? Didn't think of you as a guy who followed rules just because they were rules. You are over 10 years younger than me. I said over. Gotta go. House. Dr. Cuddy, uh, do you happen to know the way to the Icelandic consulate? This young woman, a stranger to me, was just asking directions. Security was gonna call the police. I don't wanna do that to you. Go home. She needed a ride. She got here on her own, she can get home on her own. Now. And if I see you on hospital grounds again, I will call the police. Good afternoon. I'm Dr. House. I'm going to be looking at your... Dr. Foreman in exam room one for a consult. So oh, when did this start? A couple weeks ago. I didn't want to get pregnant. Jake's not into rubbers, so I got on the jelly. You think I'm allergic or something? You have an infection. You need a sample. I brought the jar. No, I'm in a sample of your... Okay. We have a neurological problem here. There's something wrong with my brain? Oh, yeah. You can cover yourself up. You got what I need. So, smell this. It smells like vaginosis, but it's not really my call. Great. I'll be sure to put a gold star by your name on the board. Annika's biopsy for pancreatic cancer was negative. some antibiotics you probably shouldn't have sex for a while how long on an evolutionary basis i'd recommend forever i feel good that's your complaint your major symptom i told her this was a waste of time i notice colors more and music i i'm really hearing music um, I'm 82, and I'm supposed to be playing canasta with the other old ladies, but now, uh, when I see a guy with a cute butt, I can't stop looking at him. Or 
sexy beard. And you figure that enjoying cute butts is a sign of disease. It all started a month ago when Mark rented Gone with the Wind for me, but it had the wrong DVD in it. Oh, oh, right, I, I, I forgot. This is all my fault. Uh, of course, he was too busy to bring it back. Yeah, like I don't have a life. So I watched it, and it had this actor in it, this kid called Ashton Kutcher. Now, I think about Ashton all the time. All the time. Ah. You remind me of him. Same bedroom eyes. People are always mixing us up. I, I, I suppose you, you need to check my heart. No, 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 that, that won't be necessary. I told you. But I am going to admit you to the hospital for tests. What tests? She's just old. And you're just insufferable. Your mother has had a sudden personality change. It should be checked out. I'll have a nurse come in and admit her. I'm too handsome to do paperwork. Oh, Dr. House. Well, it took you long enough. We've been waiting here. Mr. Adams, would you step outside for a moment? Why? Because you irritate me. Um, he is my son, Doctor. He's just a little cranky from not eating. Fine. Mrs. Adams, have you had any recent sexual activity? What? Well, I, I don't suppose fantasies count. Oh, my God. Unfortunately, I've hit kind of a dry spell. Only for the last, oh, I don't know, 15 years. Mm -hmm. she's, she's confused. My father died eight years ago, a heart attack. Not in bed, dear. Why do you ask? Because you have tested positive for syphilis. That's impossible and insulting. I don't think it's the first time that mom has heard this diagnosis. Cupid's disease. That's what we used to call it. When did you get it? Uh, 1939. Prom night, I think. He had a Chevrolet. It was before I met your father. But you said that... You said Dad was your first love. He was. We're talking about sex. Um, but I, I was treated. Which suppressed it in your case, for 60 years. But now it's back, and the spirochetes that cause syphilis are eating away at your brain cells. Oh, that's revolting. It's not as revolting as chlamydia. It's got seepage. And it's the 21st century. We got flying cars, robot dogs, and penicillin. High-dose regimen for two weeks, you're cured. I can't believe this. Yeah, well, pinch yourself. I guess for the next two weeks, I better practice safe sex. Mm. You'll be fine. Just feed that cranky kid. Oh, Dr. House! Hello. I sent you home. Well, I came back. I took a cab, so my son wouldn't try to chaperone us this time. I'm sorry, but... The fact that the sexual pleasure center of your cerebral cortex has been overstimulated by spirochetes, it's, it's a poor basis for a relationship. I learned that one the hard way. Doctor, um, these feelings that I've been having, is it all because of the syphilis? Yes. Then, uh, here's the prescription you gave me. Well, it's not likely I'm going to infect anyone. No. But it'll kill you. Well, gotta go sometime, and... I really don't want to play canasta for the rest of my life. I... I like feeling sexy again, and... making a fool out of myself with handsome young doctors. <laughs> Do you think 
that I would have given you this if it would stop you from flirting with me. Well, but if I'm cured... Then that, all that... the spirochetes will die off. But the little pieces of your cerebral cortex that have been destroyed won't grow back. Your brain damaged. Doomed to feeling good for the rest of your life. <sighs> Thank you. Georgia. Uh, when I stop being contagious, I'll come by for a checkup. Anything else besides the shortness of breath? Not really. It's actually just kind of a tightness. You smoke? No, never. Exercise? Eight hours a day. I teach preschool. Sounds fun. Any history of heart disease in your family? Not that I know of. Take a deep breath. Been under a lot of stress lately? No more than usual. You're probably just a little anemic. I'm gonna do an EKG just to make sure. Do I need to take this off? Uh, no, you can just pull that down in front. Good Lord. Are those real? Do they look real? They look pretty damn good. They were a present for my husband's 40th. I figured he'd enjoy them more than a sweater. That's so sweet. But I'm afraid the cause of your problem could be staring us right in the face. Actually, I guess I'm the one doing the staring. Of course, I can't be sure. I'd like to consult a colleague. He's actually somewhat of an expert in these matters. Can I get a page on Dr. Wilson? It's about my bowel movements. What is it these days? You sure you want to be here for this? We do everything together. Of course. The toilet can be a lonely place. Drop your pants, I'll suit up. They float. Huh? My bowel movements. Honey says they're not supposed to. I'm a nutritionist. Yes, I can tell from the cool toe loop sandals. Thank you. You're welcome. In the natural fiber clothing, I assume means some kind of vegetarian denomination? We're vegans. At first I was a little concerned about the lack of protein, but honey showed me you can get it from lots. Wow, well, whatever floats your poop. And you've been together how long? Six months? How'd you know? So after six months, poop love fades. If you've been together shorter than that, then I'll explain right after this break. You're cheating on honey. What? No, I'm not. Oh, uh, yes, you are. It's okay. I get it. Well, I was gonna say relax, but oddly enough, you seem pretty relaxed already. You're accomplished. You're funny. You can have whatever you want. Women are gonna... He's not cheating with another woman. He's cheating with another food group. What? His floaters float because they're full of fat. Probably had a big cheeseburger for lunch. You're eating flesh? It's just a hamburger. Not all the time. You're disgusting. Soy cakes taste like cardboard. Unsalted cardboard. I'm accomplished. I'm funny. Can I have whatever I want? 